In today's Daily Business Booster, I want to talk about the importance of branding when you're first starting your online business. Now, branding includes your logo, the color scheme, everything that goes into how your brand looks, the look and feel, the thing that you want to convey. Now, a lot of people will spend so much time trying to cultivate the perfect brand. And in my opinion, it doesn't matter in the very beginning. I think that worrying about branding is just going to, I personally feel like it's one of those tactics where people will focus on it so that they don't have to actually get the real work done. I would encourage you, if you're just getting started, to not focus on branding at all. Use your name, use your face, and then move on to something that's more important. Because you can have the perfect brand set up, but if you don't have anybody seeing your content or your brand, it doesn't matter. And what's probably going to happen is the brand that the 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 logo that you have to start is going to be very different than the logo that you have when you finish. I personally have gone through probably like seven or eight different logo iterations, and it turns out the best logo is just my face looking looking into the camera. So, in the very beginning, please don't waste time trying to come up with the perfect brand. There are tons of websites out there that will give you color schemes and color swatches. I want you to focus on creating content and building systems because ultimately if you build a system, so like you use email marketing or you have a system for creating content, that's going to enable you to be seen and to make money. Again, people that waste hours and and you can literally sink hours into finding the perfect color scheme, but it doesn't matter if you're not getting in front of people. Okay. As I mentioned, you can have the best looking brand and there are many people out there that have great looking brands, but they don't have anybody looking at it. So it doesn't really matter. If you have no content out there, if you are brand new to creating email marketing and landing pages, you don't need a brand. You need content because I guarantee you that Having a great brand is not the difference between someone making 3,000 and 300. It's the content. It's getting better at the content. And no one has ever said, man, I really like this guy, but ugh, I don't like these colors. And then they click off. That's, that's not something that you have to worry about at a smaller scale. Now, a difference between having a good brand and a great brand might be the difference in like 5% sales. But if you... If you have like, if you're making like $300 per month, 5% is, is almost nothing. Now, if you're, if you're getting in front of a hundred thousand people per month, 5% can be a big deal in the very beginning. 5% is not going to be the, the difference between making it and breaking it. And so I want to encourage you to not focus on your brand at all. Okay. The first six months, don't even look at your brand after six months and you've got content out and you've got your systems in place, then you can revisit the branding. And like I said, you've, there's tons of websites out there that will give you great color schemes and color swatches for you to pick from. But I guarantee you in six months, once you actually have the business up and running, you're going to be too busy to worry about that brand. And you're going to realize that whatever brand you have, your name and your face was good enough. I would say the only caveat to that is maybe if you have a common name. If you're like John Smith, then you might need a, a brand to a brand name to stand out. But for most people, you don't need to worry about your brand for the first six months. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think having a brand and brand colors and brand scheme is really important in the very beginning, or should you hold off until at least six months? Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.